budak-budak What it do, what it do. I gotta hey, get my workouts in. Star, congrats. Yo, MP. You wanna really test yourself? Try doing this. Wide open shots. Okay. I should be able to manage that. Yeah, that's right. I made the All Star team. Huh. Okay, this does count as a workout. stick that's cool that I got at least a couple of the workouts here
Okay, that's three workouts. Uh. Okay, so is it treadmill? No badges for the treadmill. So back down, Punisher. Nah, I just go to the. Uh, Lock in. It's game time. Yep, game time. Game time? The Lakers are 26 and 25. Let's check out the full schedule. Okay, so it's close. Uh. Okay, we win that one. Okay, we win that one. 16 and 23. Why they got me shooting so many threes? Okay, we lost to Portland. Hmm. And they beat us down in this one. 18 and 10. Okay, so go ahead and get to the uh, next key game. AD couldn't stop you last time, and he won't stop you this time. Well, let's do it. Let's talk to the, let's talk to the coach. I got some See, we caught them by surprise. AD wasn't entirely ready for us last time, but we cannot count on that again. The book's out on you, kid. And what's in the book? that you can't be taken lightly. But neither can he. He's a champion for a reason, and they're going to want to get him going early. I can see them hitting us with the side pick and roll a few times to get his feet wet. He can pop and drain the midi, but he's great at slipping the screen and rolling for easy buckets, too. Look at this. You see that? Yeah, every time. Oh, we on the road too. Have a great game, man. Key game against AD. Greetings, everyone. You've got it live on Tuesday night coverage oh, of the, the NBA jerseys. on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Brent Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. You know, we're still a Get bit away Brian. from the All-Star game, Brent. The playoffs, the big events of this NBA season. How hard now, though, is it to focus? Mm. It, it can be difficult, but you have to keep to your routine and stay diligent to those things. Develop those good habits. Just because the schedule's about to take a little bit of a break, Kevin, doesn't mean that you do. A key matchup tonight is the one between MP and Anthony Davis. MP got the win in the first meeting, and he's looking to repeat that success tonight. And the thing that you have to constantly remind yourself about, AD, it's not just the length and defensive presence, but... It's the skill and finesse in maneuvering around the best defenders in the league. Don't forget that world-class shot-blocking ability. And perhaps a bit of a feeling-out process, but I expect it won't take long for them to get it going and put on a show. And a look at the starters for the Pistons. Guard spots filled by Cunningham and Ivy. Agdanovich out mm. there with Bagley, and it's Lewis in at the five down low. A bit of a rut here early, just one of four so far. Reeves gets the bucket. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the, the hell defensively? 
Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Now, here's Ivy. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. <clears throat> and MP throws it down. MP being relentless in his approach. It serves mm -hmm. him well on the offensive boards. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. Pass to Vanderbilt. Yeah, a three from LeBron drains the three-pointer. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Pistons have gone two or six from the field. Ivy with a screen for Cunningham. Bagley kicks to Lewis. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Shot clock at six. Cunningham for three. He hits hauled in by Los Angeles. Greg, looking at the history of the Lakers, they always feel they're a title contender. And they've been to the finals in every decade. Their longest championship drought in L.A., just 12 years. So, to me, the best franchise in NBA history. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession, if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. And, and watching Boyan Bogdanovich is, is just so fun. Must be great to be his teammate. Yeah, he's got so much skill, and he's one of the more dependable players on the floor. He rebounds, he shoots at a high level, he plays with heart. Whether it's banging down low or shooting from three, this guy makes contributions. Well, a great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about oh. being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Yeah, a nice, strong finish on the inside. But Greg, that's what he does. He's got the dunker mentality. Cunningham finds Ivy. Here's Bagley. Cunningham outside. Here's Lewis. Again, the miss by the Pistons. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Pass to Hood, Javino. And here is Vanderbilt. LeBron with it. Against New Orleans, who is really on his game. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Loud pass to Bagley. Lays it in off a pretty alley-oop. Great vision from Ivy. That's what sets him apart at the two-guard spot. 125 left to play in the first quarter. Here's Hood Shafino. And here is Vanderbilt. Nothing on the board. And stolen by Ivy. Now the pass to MP. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. I like the attacking mindset from MP. He gets deep inside there, and then he gets to work. Lakers trail by four. Pass to Vanderbilt. Kicks to LeBron. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Follow. And really, the defense fouling there to prevent the follow. layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It's his first trip to the line. Free throw good, LeBron. And it feels like there's been a crossover where basketball fans over the past two seasons are really appreciating the longevity and greatness of LeBron James. Detroit making a switch here. Stewart's checked in for Marvin Bagley. Joe Harris comes in for Bogdanovich. Burks, he's checked in for Ivy. And Morris subbed in for Cade Cunningham. Burks can't get it to go. Well, that's how to protect the rim without fouling. Force him into an awkward release and a bit of an adjustment on the layup. Now, here's a run. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. And Harris, wide open. He shoots, sinks the three-pointer. Nice feed from MP, head on a swivel. Now, here's James. Pass to Oubre. Launches a three. No good on the last second attempt there. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Pistons lead by five. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. Mm -hmm. 
and hope you've enjoyed the broadcast. Huh, bae? What'd you say, bae? You say something, bae? Mm -hmm. Oh, nothing, just playing a game. Yeah, man. <laughs> they just sent her in the super, super north. North outside? Yeah. Two o'clock now. Two o'clock. <laughs> Oh, okay. Got the computer game and going. Something I know nothing about. You got what on this computer? Oh, yeah, 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 that, yeah. Oh yeah, them gaming computers. That's why it's like, yeah, that's a whole other ball game on them game on the gaming computers. That's why they're so damn expensive. You you can't get just like no. Well, you get the computer or a lot of people getting the gaming laptops. Yeah. You know, some people. Uh huh. Yeah, that's why people. Uh-huh, because, you know, people, they like having all this, what they set up, having, like, 10 screens, and Man. it's like, look, I, look, look, I'm like, at the most, give me two, at the most, give me two. Now you got your chat over here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, one for the chat, the game, and I guess one just to look up stuff or whatever. All right, maybe three. <laughs> maybe three. Man, you got... One, two, three, four. No, it's your, three. Your, 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 four, your phone make five. Like these, these, look, there's three screens there. You got that. Your phone, you know what I'm saying, your That's tablet. Count. <laughs> it's like about six things right there. And then you can move stuff from screen to screen to screen. I was like, oh, my God, there's too much going on. Yeah, so far, halfway through the first half in this one. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Pistons? They're controlling the pace of this game, pushing the ball up court and getting good looks in early offense. Well, they've also done a great job of taking turnovers and producing out of that, oh, working really hard that they're not wasting extra chances that they're creating. On the court for the Pistons, Joe Harris is out there with Isaiah Stewart. Then it's Morris. Then there's Alec Burks. And it's Lewis in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. Man, you got for us, GA? Hey, guys. MP in the last time out against the Clippers played a major role. He added 18 points, and per usual, he was a monster on the glass, picking up pretty much every board that came his way. And he was pretty much big everywhere, doing a little bit of everything. He had a strong all-around game. Is a repeat performance in the cards? We'll see. Guys? Excellent, David. Thank you. Greg, how impressive was it watching him completely take over? Unstoppable. Uh, they won that game because of his effort and just his overall relentlessness. Yeah, going up against a team that had no answer for him. We'll that, see uh, if Burke it plays out the exact same way here tonight. The Lakers with the ball, following the three by Detroit. LeBron kicks to Hachimura. Lakers passing it around. Lock at six. Here's James. A shot off that time. Good defense by MP. Pass to Burks. Dishes it to Morris. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. 
Last time, for the first time in over a decade, Brent three-point mm -hmm. attempts were down compared to the previous year. Well, why? Well, you wonder, Kevin, if things I'm just redlined. I mean, how many more sure. threes can you squeeze off? But let's give credit to the coaches. They're coming in with some different defensive philosophies and trying to do their best to take away the most advantageous three-pointers in the game. Here's what Detroit's going with right now. Jalen Duran. He's checked in for Stewart. Ivy comes in for Harris. And Cade Cunningham subbed in for Burks. Now, here is Morris. Seven-point game, the biggest lead in the game. Out of bounds. Pistons ball as Detroit keeps possession. Marvin Bagley's checked in for Detroit. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. MP against Wood. MP no good. Last time these two met, MP dominated, but tonight it's been a dogfight. And there's the pass to Vanderbilt. Floats it up for Wood. No good. And what should have been a simple pass and finish ends up in a missed opportunity on that alley oop attempt. Yeah, you'd like to keep things a little more simple, and that was a play that didn't quite develop the way they wanted it. Here's Hood Shafino, covered by Morris. LeBron James on the way. And the rejection by MP. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by MP. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. Sorry, Brian. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. And the Lakers with some changes. Davis comes in for Christian Wood. And it's Austin Reeves in for Kelly Oubre. And the Pistons making a change here as well. Bob Donovich is checked in for Morris. And that's the battle. They haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Oh. And it's the Lakers on the break. They could use a bucket. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Cade Cunningham. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. For Los Angeles, they have gone two for two in the game at the line. Take a break. Take a break. First one falls. Los Angeles making a switch here. Ubre is checked in. Hmm. What a way did they get Ubre? He hits both from the strike. We've got 155 left here in the second. Ivy on the wing. Feeds it to Lewis. Back to Ivy. Bagley with a screen on Vanderbilt. Ivy. Bagley, no good. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. Passes it to Vanderbilt. Davis with it. This one for three. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. And with Marvin Bagley the third, Brent, it just feels like he's been snake bitten in his young career. Yeah, but Greg, you know this. If you can hang in there and stay confident, then you get a second chance. And with that second chance, maybe this opportunity for Marvin Bagley is going to be the one where we can show that talent. Remember, second overall pick back in 2018. Now here is Davis. Following the miss by MP. Davis, the pass to Vanderbilt. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Hood Shafino. Oh, great job by MP to read the play and be in the right spot there to get the block. Ivy passes to Bagley. Lewis outside. MP, the triple is down the hatch. The assist what up, Durante, what up, what up? just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. 12 seconds left now here in the second. Davis with a screen on Ivy. 
The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Off target from outside. And so that brings the first half to a close. The Pistons on top, leading by 10. Time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. That's up. And hello, everybody. What an amazing first half performance it's been for the Detroit Pistons. The defensive effort has been the difference. They're determined, they're creating tough shots, and their intensity level hasn't been matched by their opponent. Can't score, can't win. Simple, Dr. O'Neill. I would agree, Professor Ernie Johnson. And now, your favorite part of this show, for some reason, social media posts. All right, here's one from Earthquake Blake. If you guys had a movie made about you, who would play? That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game. Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Uh, you the look at MP in this was one. Interesting. He's been everywhere. And those this, extra chances mean the segment so was real much. interesting, man. Like and he has uh, the Texas game King really started stirring the pot, man. Down those offensive boards. And the team I'm still trying to figure out like where is this going? Dirty work going? You know what I mean? Because that look Melo had phenomenal. at the end. The two Lakers stars on the you floor. You know what I'm saying? Melo looked like he was over. Then like Jim King, King is like and it's Reeves in at the two spot. King is just the instigator, man. For the he, he, it, King Heisen. is King instigator, but it's like so I'm trying to wonder, like, does this dude know something? To the middle, and there's Bogdanovich. That's good. I'm really wondering, does this dude know something? And Lewis then the thing that, 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 that I caught one. was uh, when, when Trick said he don't know who it was that attacked him, and Melo was like, really don't David. know who attacked Thank you? And you it was it. almost the like, Pistons brought in Monty Williams man, I'm off the hook, man. Team from the bottom. He said, I don't know, I man. Like those like, I thought, I thought, I thought, it, was, I thought it was I thought it was cool, man, that, that they introduced and came. You know, but we still we still really don't have no answers, though. It's like we got more questions. It's part of this restoration. I what's really going on. Indeed he does, David. Thanks. Down low, Davis deflected by MP. Yeah, it's Slight like cannon being thrown in there. That like really uh, But that oftentimes is all it takes. And it's Bogdanovich in the corner. He dishes it to Cunningham. And here's MP for three. It's no good. He's now four of nine from the field. Lakers trail by nine. LeBron outside. Loads it up for Davis and stolen by Ivy. One on one fast Go break. Take it, take it, take Here's it. Cunningham and then Cunningham with the dunk. Twitchy and quick. Ivy can really be disruptive defensively mm. with his hands. Third quarter of basketball. We're about a minute and a half in. Pass to Hood. Jafino. Now Vanderbilt. He averages a bit over six points a game. Pass to Reeves. Just five to shoot. Let's it go from 11. Nice oh, jump shot. That. Good. Reeves okay. has got his second bucket tonight. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Bogdanovich sets the pick for Cunningham. At the top of the key, Lewis to the inside. And Bogdanovich kicks to Bagley. Looks for Lewis, gets it to him. Uh, that's not a good shot. The shot I got no the good. perk, but it's Great not a good shot. Time from Davis. Well, even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level, and his tonight has been high. The offensive rebound and the rejection by MP. Here's Bogdanovich. He trains the quick shot. Hmm. Bogdanovich has got AD. the lead up to 11 now for the Pistons. Yeah, you did. Angeles, you did throw him out there. Five, here and in the then that looks, uh, I know, what you, what you want to call it? That little, uh, in the corner, Vanderbilt with it. That little, uh, the thing he said last week about something he already did. Davis. 
right at the free throw line. Bagley with the rebound. He, he loves to make him pay for giving up that wide open jumper, just unable to do so. And you look at Jaden Ivey, Brent. First of all, he gives you great size in the backcourt. Well, what anybody guarding him would tell you, Kevin, is he brings unreal athleticism. His first step is lightning quick. Oh, An impactful baby. defensive presence. AD is outstanding at coming up with blocks. Poke loose. MP outside. Another miss by MP. Yeah, the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. Takes a three. Lewis grabs the board. MP's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Pistons passing it around. Cunningham finds Ivy. Back to Cunningham. Here's Lewis. There you go. MP strong inside. Well, one make and six attempts. I, I think it's fair to say he's had a rough start to this quarter. Yeah. Vanderbilt with the screen. Throws it up high. <laughs> Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Who is it on? Marvin Bagley picks one up. Oh, okay. So he's Bagley. getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. <laughs> yeah, Zaya would be a great bodyguard, kicking cats' heads off. And that one falls for Vanderbilt. Both teams will make substitutions. Yeah, Zaya so underrated. Second free throw, no good. Pistons leading by 12. Morris passes to Stewart. Misses oh. in close. Los Angeles has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Morris against Oubre. Inside. The jump hook. And the rejection by MP. Harris kicks to Lewis. And the wide open shot for Morris. Mm. Good. And it's MP picking up the assist. MP's got his fifth assist in this one. Mm -hmm. Ubre, left side. Over Morris. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so is Detroit, riding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their defensive mindset clearly focused on clamping down on LeBron James, and their game plan is working. Back to the action. In and a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. Well, coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Come and on, on the floor hit the toy here in the fourth. We've got Monte Morris, Isaiah Stewart out there with Lewis. Then it's Joe Harris, and it's Burks in at the shooting guard position. Nice to see Ubre step up and do that. To the paint, here's Morris. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. And the Pistons lead by 14. They are just killing them on the interior. Up top, Hachimura. Guarded by Stewart. Lewis grabs the board. MP's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Here's Stewart. And there's the call on James. Mm. That's foul number two for him. So both teams making some changes here. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth. MP dishes to Thompson. Uh. It's stolen by Hachimura. James with it. Picked up by Harris. Oubre, no one around him. And another three for the Lakers. Got to know the scouting report. You do not want Kelly Oubre to establish confidence in catch and shoot chances. Knocks it down. Morris passes to Lewis. 
A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. Good, and the assist got goes to MP. Got that three back. Lewis has got six assists here tonight. Yeah, not my best offensive game. I'm sure LeBron against Harris. Oubre, a screen on Harris. LeBron kicks to Oubre. Oubre. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Passes to MP. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. Lakers trail by 14. It's stolen by Harris. And oh, here we go. Harris, nobody back. Improving every season he's been in the league. Harris is quietly one of the best perimeter shooters in the game. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Pistons. I'm in love with how they're moving the basketball all game long and also their ability to move without the ball. That style just makes it so difficult to defend. And there's another thing going on right now for them that has to get their confidence up, and that's the three ball. I mean, it's been falling for them, and they're locked in, and with that outside shot going, that's a big difference maker. Shot clock at five, and he gets it to go. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Here's Cunningham. The 10 footer finds the target. And the Pistons lead by 16. Ah, some retro action from Kate Cunningham, the mid range J. Right wing. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Pass to Reeves. Takes the three. Offensive rebound. And this is what dominating the glass looks like. He just cannot be contained. Sort of reminding me of a little Ben Wallace action here from his years with the Pistons. He's been that much of a force rebounding the ball. MP dishes to Cunningham. Oh, Set it up with the fake, but it's offline. That. Lakers trail by 16. Pass to Hood, Javino. Back to James. Davis with a screen on Harris. James gets inside and finishes. Assertive move by LBJ just taking what he wants inside. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. They're in front by 14. We've got 123 left here in the fourth quarter. Detroit making a switch here. Bogdanovich has checked in. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Cunningham inside. That one good for two. Cunningham's got four points in the quarter. And guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for Detroit. Their shot blocking turned out to give them a big advantage in this game. Yeah, excellent defense around the rim there, Kevin. That They were disciplined and focused. And on the year, this will turn out to be win number 34 for them. Really, they had their number this season. Two wins, a home win, and an away win. And mm -hmm. guys, one of the steady and outstanding players putting in another impressive performance. It was a big-time outing for MP. And you have to love the effort block. he put forth on the glass. He played with a fire no one else could match as he chased down those rebounds. And Detroit again mm. with the bucket. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, mm -hmm. very decisive victory for the club tonight. The shot and game clock separated by four. Davis against MP. Here's LeBron. Pass to Vanderbilt. Uh. James dishes to Davis. And so uh. the Pistons taking care of business here. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. Uh, messed them up. A grade.
All right, let's talk Rookie of the Year. Well, I think we all know who you're going for. MP, baby! I let's go! Have considered any of the cases for these other guys? Like who? Like Victor Wembanyama, yeah. Scoot Henderson, Brendan Miller, Eamon Thompson. <laughs> considered them, rejected them, went with the obvious choice. Okay, so what's your criteria? Uh, greatness. Okay, and how do you define greatness? Well, I'm looking at a dictionary and... This, Wait, yeah, this is weird. Well it, no, 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 it's a picture of MP. Okay, now look up cornball. Hmm. Okay, this is super weird. It's a picture of you. Ah, oh, great talk. Let's do it again sometime. Oh, no, it really is you, and you're, like, in Nebraska. What am I wearing? Corn. <laughs> That's how you leave it all out on the floor. Nice job. For the second time in a row, you came out on top against these guys. Are these types of performances still as exciting to you as they are for the fans, or are you getting bored of being dominant? If something is exciting to the fans, then it's exciting to me. The energy of the crowd, I rely on that to give you the grind of the season. Our fans bring it better than anyone else in the league. But it could be on the road, too. Doesn't matter. So when I'm making a play, dunking over AD or something like that, I'm imagining it from the fans' perspective, and I'm feeling their excitement and their joy. That's part of what makes this the best job in the world. Shots attempted. It is cold blooded MP. You guys really poured it on out there. What was that? I took the two.
Defensive drill. The other defensive drill is where you gotta push the right command. Oh, we got me. Excuse me. Finish my workouts, my getaway workout.
it's right over there. At nighttime here, the crickets and everything. to now I guess back to the arena. Congrats on the all-star nod. Well deserved, my friend.
Hey, should we pick up something for dinner? Oh, but we, we got food already at lunch. Yeah, but those leftovers are old. I, I brought them home yesterday, I think. You name All Star captain as a rookie. Make the All Star team as a rookie. Your rookie of the year, MVP. Last time you got your oil changed. Yeah, I never really had Probably like 3,000 miles past two. Sorry, Phoenix. Nobody shines as bright as my boy MP. Is it next? When is that next game? Oh my god. Welcome to the NBA Rising Stars Challenge, a game that has become such a special part of all-star festivities. And that's really because it always provides us with such an entertaining look at the next generation of NBA stars. In a game like this where the pressure's off and it's all about having fun, I think we really get an opportunity to see just how skilled these young players are. Exactly. I mean, nobody's going to get on top of you if you go behind your back or you try something out of the ordinary. And that means we get to see these young guys pull off some amazing plays in this game every year. And now the opening lineup for Team World. They've got Victor Wembenyama. Benedict Matherin is out there with Daniel. And it's Vazenkov in at the small forward position. Wembenyama, no good. Yeah, early on, three misses to open the game. Their offense right now still trying to find its way. And for me, this is always one of the best weeks of the year. So much fun for everyone involved. Okay, Fans, Charlie. players, coaches. What a blast. Yeah, the NBA knows how to throw a party in celebrating its game. There's no doubt about that. And All-Star Week is one great show after another. And guys, since this game started back in 94, this has been a perfect warm-up for the All-Star game. I mean, it has all the fun and excitement of the big game with the added element of introducing some of the great young stars to the league's fans. And it's Team World with the ball. Following the three-pointer by USA, here's Wimbenyama. And he drops it in from the low post. Took a little time, but they get one to go. Maybe they're warmed up now. This really has become one of the signature events of All-Star Weekend. And I know you love it, Greg. It gets everyone into the mood for all the festivities that are soon to come. Yeah, it, it does. I mean, it, it's such a great way for these young players to show off some of the fancy moves that they wouldn't even dare to attempt in a regular season game. And it's Team World with the ball. Following the miss by MP. And that rejection has to get MP's blood pumping. Defensive stops like that really make an impact. Henderson kicks to Ben Carroll. Here's MP. And the dunk by MP. And Greg, some big news for MP. He's been named to his first All-Star team. And he has to feel like he's arrived. The MP worked hard to earn a spot on that All-Star team. And, and it's just something about the Rising Stars challenge. It, it gives each of these young players a chance to really do something special on a national stage, maybe for the first time in their professional career. Now, here's Ben Carroll. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. 
Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Yeah, shots falling off to a very good start offensively as a result. You brought the big stage these young guys are on tonight. For so many of the fans, Greg, who are still uh, you know, just getting familiar with these players, it really is a great welcome to the NBA moment. It, it really is a showcase. And for each player, whether they have great moments or not, just being chosen to participate is a huge honor. And it says a lot about where they stand amongst their peers. Here's Sohan. Daniels passes to Matherin. Six on the shot clock. Team World needs to get off a shot. Sohan, the shot's good on the assist by Daniel. Okay. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. <laughs> Matherin against Thompson. Pass to Henderson. MP dishes to Van Carroll from deep three-point territory. Sinks it. What range from outside? Wow. Van Carroll's got five. Van Carroll answering. I'm here, he says, firing right back from deep. Wembenyama passes to Sohan. Back to Wembenyama. One twenty-five left here in the opening quarter. Good. Rem Benyama has got his second bucket of the game to go. So fluid off the bounce. Rem Benyama. Who is outside? Again, USA. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. And now the first time out called here for Team World. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. And USA with some changes. Abaji's checked in, and it's Jaden Ivey in for Scoot Henderson. Fifty-six mm -hmm. seconds left in the first quarter. Here's the screen. Driving the lane. And the rejection by MP. Here's Coloco, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup, so I'd agree with you there. Holmgren, he's checked in for USA. Williams comes in for Miller, and Team World making a change here. So it's USA now. They lead by seven. 36 seconds left in the first quarter. MP, that's for two. Again, USA. Mm. And two teammates there hooking up on that bucket. Always a little bit of an advantage to have guys out there who know each other. It sure is. I mean, it eliminates some of that getting to know you feeling out period. And the rejection by MP. And they're running. Puts it up from 12. Again, USA. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Well, everything's coming too easily. I mean, uh, at some point defensively, you have to take yeah. something away. Maybe in shit. Here's Wimbenyama. <laughs> And the rejection by Holmgren. Launches it from deep. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And it's USA. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. Will return shortly. And it's time to get back into it at the Rising Stars Challenge. Tonight, none of these young players will ever forget, I'm sure. Oh, to be young and athletic. Just a ton of energy out there on the floor tonight. 
Yeah, you know, like we see every year, these young guys are super excited to be playing in this game, and that excitement comes out onto the court. Chet Holmgren out there with Williams. Then there's Jaden Ivey. Then it's Lewis, and it's Abaji in at the two-guard spot. And for Team World, they've got Victor Wembenyama. And it's Coloco in at the five down low. And you know, the officials not giving their whistles much of a workout here tonight. Very few fouls being called. And most of that, Greg, is because they're not playing full force defense. I mean, you're never going to see as much contact around the bucket in this game as you would ordinarily. And, and not as many turnovers as, as we often get in this game. So good to see both teams taking care of the ball. Yeah, it really is. I mean, surprisingly, very well controlled for the most part. Sometimes things get a little wild out there, but not so here. We on the clock. Ram Benyama, that's for two. Lewis grabs the board. I'm not sure he realizes there are four other guys on the floor with him. Trying to make this a one-man show. Yeah, he's got a little black hole going on there. If he gets it, then he's not giving it up to anybody else, and that's really not what this game is about. So it's both teams making substitutions here. All right, give it up, give it up. Pick. So it's USA now. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. In the corner, Ivy with it. Just five on the clock. Over Daniels. Uh, That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Should have passed it to me. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Pass to Vizenko. Man, he completely missed him on that pass. Five to shoot. Out of bounds. It'll be USA's ball. And USA making a change here. Miller's checked in. And a change for Team World. Sohan's checked in. USA leading by 13. Shot from the wing. USA uh. with another miss. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. Nemhard, the pass to Sohan. There's the lob to the hoop. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Okay. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. Incredible, Yo, man, incredible body girls. control it's right crazy. there. Don't know how he was able to get that one to go, but it sure was a thing of beauty to watch. Now, here is Miller. Scoreless thus far. Lewis passes to Holmgren. Holmgren sets the screen for Miller. USA with another miss. Team World trails by 10. Passes it to Nemo. Here's Sohan, defended by Holmgren. Sohan, the pass to Wembenyama. And the rejection by MP. And here we go. MP rattling the rim. And when MP gets that close to the rim, you know he is looking to finish with authority. And for those of you just joining us, we're in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. And Team World calls time here. Van Carroll's checked in for MP. Okay, so. Okay, they'll take me out for a few seconds. Matherin against Henderson. Pass to Van Carroll. He dishes it to Lewis. For three, Henderson. Good, and it's MP picking up the assist. Henderson's got his first three points of the game. Now, part of Henderson's game that's improving. Nice to see him build some confidence from behind the line. So am the pass to Wembenyama. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Stolen by Henderson. Van Carroll against Matherin. Let's it go from 11. And the shot is long. Team World trails by 11. 
Now, Wembenyama. There's 21 seconds left in the second quarter. Oh, how about the vision by Wimbanyama there? Always looking to get teammates involved. And no need to rush this. Let the clock run down. Yeah, don't give them another possession here. Bancaro outside. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And USA leads by 11. Oh, what terrific hustle. He's got a nose for the rebound. Great. He's ferocious when the ball goes up. That's what they've got him out there for, fellas. And it's USA holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. And we'll be back with you shortly. And we're glad to have you along as we resume the action at the Rising Stars Challenge. Some great careers in store for these young men. And what a showcase this game has been for the league's best and brightest young stars. And you know, one of my favorite things is seeing the camaraderie between the players. I mean, both of these teams really enjoying playing together and against each other. MP out there with Van Carroll. Then it's Miller. Then it's Henderson. And it's Thompson in at the shooting mm. guard position. So that's who Adrian Griffin starts with in oh, the second. So oh, so that's the actual count. That's a Following wide the three-point attempt by MP. Lewis against Wembenyama. Got it. Good job in the low post. Wembenyama's got six. And standing easily over seven feet. When Wemby gets that ball near the hoop, literally nothing a defender can do. Now here's Henderson. The pass to MP. Six to shoot. The three. Henderson, no good. And Matherin has got the ball here for Team World. They trail by nine points. And Benyama gets the bucket. And there's no question he was going to be playing in this game. Because as far as a first or second year player goes, he's about as impactful as any in the league. That's exactly right. I mean, he's quickly become one of his team's most important players. For most guys, that can take years, but it's happened really fast for him. They get it back. MP kicks to Miller. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Miller's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And Benyama outside. Pass to Sohan. To the middle. Good ball movement here by Team World. Matherin passes to Sohan. From the arc. It's hauled in by USA. Lewis has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And Carroll. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Van Carroll so solid inside. Defenders are going to have a hard time. With his size and quickness. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And the NBA's new CBA cracking down on the top spending teams, Greg, but also the bottom spending teams. Yeah, before teams had until the trade deadline to hit the minimum salary floor. Now they've got to be there day one. Or they lose out on luxury tax distributions, which could end up in the millions. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition switch ignited. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Here's Daniel. Yeah, he takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And, and the definition of teamwork right there on that alley-oop. And Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some Impressive. thunder. Yeah. 
I'll tell you what, I think the pass was even better. I mean, that was room service delivery at its finest. And stolen by mm. Wembenyama. On the wing, Matherin. He's covered by Thompson. Zohan, the pass to Wembenyama. Here he goes. Drops in the mm. layup for two. Wembenyama has got seven points here in this quarter. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Bancaro outside. MP kicks to Anderson. Lewis with the three. There we go. Another three for USA. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. And Team World calls time here. MP really making a difference here. You know, that defense is helpless right now. I mean, he's got their number, and he knows it. A big group substitution here for Team World. One oh five left to play in the third. There's the pick. Matherin passes to Jovic. Holmgren with the steal. Here's Abashi. Again, USA. It's obvious they've taken fewer threes here in the second half and are focused on having a more balanced offensive attack. Outside, Matherin. There's 42 seconds left here in the third quarter. Coloco, no good. Boy, that defense smothered him in there. Love the intensity. Bancaro kicks to Ivy. Six on the shot clock. Lewis down low. He's got 16. And that one's good, Abaji. Spreading the wealth. MP just has a knack for doing that on and off the court. Here's Nemhard over Ivy. And that one released in time, but no good. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. USA. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Boy, that's a nice asset to have. It's a huge boost to any offense, too. It adds a whole nother dimension when you've got a big guy that can pass. I'll come back as we get a glimpse of the future here at the Rising Stars <sighs> Challenge. And it has been a fantastic uh, game up to this point. It certainly has. I mean, we know these carry, young yeah. fellas can play, and they are I'm putting on a open. show. So Team World's five right now. They've got Victor Wembenyama. And it's Coloco in at the center, locking down the middle. Passes it to Nemar. Pass to Coloco. Here's Rupert. A three-pointer off the mark. USA leading by 15. There's the three. And that one's good, Abaji. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. Here's Koulibaly. Here's Rupert. Team World with another miss. And I like the bold move of going right back at him to return the three, but he just couldn't get it to go. Good work there as it goes. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Pass to Coloco. Here's Nemhard. Fires for three. Lewis grabs the board. Lewis is... Holmgren the pass to Abashi. And Ivy now top of the key. MP kicks to Holmgren. USA moving the ball around. Williams inside the line. Rebound by Team World. The defense there got away with a major lapse. 
Pass to Rupert. Now Wembenyama. Here's Nemhard. Down low. Here's Kulabali. Nice there. Getting the reverse. Love that. And, and the fans oh, that's got a, a teammate show there. From overseas. Guys, that one definitely had a little something extra on it. A jaw-dropper emoji is what I look like right now. Incredible. USA leading by 18. Mm -hmm. Miller with the ball. Pass to Lewis. To the inside. Here's Ben Carroll. Look, it is good. And USA leads by 20. Agile little shot that time by Van Carroll. Arcing it up and in. Beautifully done. Pass to Vizenkov. The shot will not fall. Good D by Miller. So it's USA now. They lead by 20. It's the most we've seen. And one thing that came from this new CBA GA mandatory participation in the NBA draft combine. Yeah, more equal access for teams to study various prospects. Player agents can't keep teams in the dark like in the past. That makes for a more level playing field. There's a minute 47 left to play in the final quarter. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Thompson. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. A platoon swap here for Team World. 144 left in the fourth. Five on the clock. Here's Nemar. Nice shot from 10 feet out. Okay. Nemar's got his first bucket in this one. USA leading by 21. Abaji the pass to Ivy. Lewis with the three. That <sighs> shot, no good. On offense, here's Team World. Here's Rupert. Off target from three-point range. Diversified scoring in this one for him. I love when everyone can get involved. A full team effort. The fader. MP kicks to Holmgren. Back to MP. Just five to shoot. No good with the triple. Mm. Pass to Koulibaly. And he stuffs it. What a pass to set him up. Mm. That's serving it up on the platter there. What a nice pass. A high percentage look was the result. Williams looking over the floor. Abaji the pass to MP. And the dunk by MP. Not surprised at all. He's shooting it well and scoring points in budgets. 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter. You got him. Here's Nemhard. Pass to Coloco. Here's Rupert. Let's it go with a three. And the three ball is good. <laughs> it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. Now they're playing with urgency, huh? They could have done it much earlier before the game was out of reach. MP finds Williams. And here's Ivy. So USA wins it. What a terrific game. I tell you what, these young players are going to give us years of excitement to come. The future of the NBA is looking very bright with these guys, Kevin. Terrific young players. It sure is. see for that game okay okay is MP an all-star this year yes or no yes whoa 
I thought I was going to have to fight you on that one. Well, no, he's on the bubble right now, but he's got a great narrative. Uh, amazing narrative. And of all the guys ahead of him, he's got the most realistic chance of improving between now and when the vote ends. I know. I'm not betting against him. <laughs> I'm betting on him. And we all know you love MP, Sean. I just wanted to be on the record. Well, let the record show that one Sean Miller is an MP simp. Seconded. <laughs> you don't need to second that. The eyes have it. <laughs> well, then the eyes carry the day. That's not how it's supposed to go. The, the gavel bangs and then... We say, ah, I forgot my Court gavel. Court adjourned. I forgot MP my MP is an all-star. <laughs> it, that's how it goes. Congratulate the kid. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, there you He's go. He's going to be great. He is great. Yeah, I want to play this when I'm in it. Oh, store. Look out there, MP. Man, look at that. Man, look at that. Hi everyone, we welcome you to the NBA All-Star Game. Oh, I'm Kevin I'm Harlan, along with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg. Okay, and you know what, this is probably, Kevin, my favorite date on the NBA calendar. I mean, with the amazing collection of players we have here tonight, this year promises to be an epic event. Absolutely. Guys, it always is. I mean, the privilege of playing in this game means so much to every one of these players. I mean, being on this huge stage brings out the best in the NBA's biggest superstars. Now we'll look at the West All-Stars starting lineup. We've got Andy Jacumbo, Damian Lillard out there with Trey Young. And it's Nikola Jokic. And it's KD in at the three slot. And this has become one of the must-see events of the year, which is obvious by all the star power in attendance here tonight. Well, certainly the Hollywood crowd is on hand, the biggest names from the sports mm -hmm. world, music stars. Everybody wants to be a part of All-Star Week. I love this event so much because it combines the world-class ability of these players with the freedom of the playground. Yep, it's the greatest and certainly the most fun pickup game these players will ever play in. And got rid of it promptly. Mitchell wasting no time. Jokic with a screen on Doncic. Lillard misses. Lillard against Doncic. And Doncic throws it down. Spreading the wealth. MP just has a knack for doing that on and off the court. And here in the first, closing Thank in on you. two minutes play. Lillard with it. Pass to Jokic. Inside, Durant. And then Durant with the jam. Well, the All-Star Game D is in full effect. They typically clamp it down in the second half. There's the pass to Embiid. Puts up a three. And it's Mitchell missing. 
Pass to Lillard. Back to KD. And here's Giannis from outside. MP grabs the miss. Mitchell outside. And Lewis has it in the corner. And it's off from three-point range. And so Giannis will bring it up for the West. They trail by one. Young outside. Passes it to Jokic from downtown. It's hauled in by the East. And just a little more defense in this game than we're used to seeing. Yeah, and I like to see that, quite honestly. I mean, they're battling hard at both ends right now. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually, he's money from deep. Drains it from beyond the arc. And no player in the league has done more to earn his spot in this game than he has. I mean, he's having a terrific season. He sure is. Excellence on a consistent basis for him. I mean, he's been their rock all year. And here's MB after Damian Lillard was able to get the three to go. Doncic with the bucket. Boy, Doncic showing you his competitiveness right there with the back at you three. The revenge triple. Lillard the pass to Jokic. Now, on to Kumbo. Lewis covering. Oh. Oh. And now that's what these people came to see, just punishing the rim. Boy, that was tremendous. That one would be worth some points in the dunk contest. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Now, here's Doncic. MP sets the screen for Mitchell. And a miss there on the triple. And it's Hansa Takumbo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the West All-Stars. From 12 feet out, he squares up and sinks it. With the threat of his drive where he's lethal, the defense has to live with Giannis shooting the mid-range jump shot. Embiid with a screen on Young. Mitchell kicks to MP. Doncic outside. Takes it from 10. And MP with the basket on the assist by Doncic. Inside, MP does a good job of just asserting himself, doing what needs to be done to get that finish. Shot and game clock separated by five. And the rejection by MP. Doncic against Lillard. Back to Lewis. Kicks to LeBron. Fires the three. The shot that time, not on target. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Best All-Stars out in front, up by one. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter. Big group substitution here for the East. MP's checked in for Julius Randle. James comes in for Kawhi Leonard. Donovan Mitchell's checked in for James Harden. And Doncic is subbed in for Gilgis Alexander. So an almost entirely new group now for the West. Jokic, he's checked in for Anthony Davis. Kevin Durant comes in for DeMar DeRozan. Antetokounmpo's checked in for Zach Levine. Young is subbed in for Booker. LeBron James is out there with MP. Then there's Doncic. Then it's Donovan Mitchell, and it's Embiid, and at the five, down low. So that's the five in the game for the East All-Stars. And you know, the officials not giving their whistles much of a workout here tonight. Very few fouls being called. And most of that, Greg, is because they're not playing full-force defense. I mean, you're never going to see as much contact around the bucket in this game as you would ordinarily. And, and not as many turnovers as, as we often get in this game. So good to see both teams taking care of the ball. Yeah, it really is. I mean, surprisingly, very well controlled for the most part. Sometimes things get a little wild out there, but not so here. The West leading by 10. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Down low. Here's Jokic. The kick out to Young. Off target with his three. 
Mitchell right side. Shoots over Lillard. And that one's good, Mitchell. Mitchell's got five. And this is routine for Mitchell. He doesn't need much space to feel comfortable elevating. And so it's Devin Booker making highlights for the West. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. We come back right after this. And it's time to strap in as we get set to bring you the explosive action of the second half of the All-Star game. Yeah, and I'm looking for the temperature to start to rise here a little bit in this second half. Yeah, I'm exactly with you there. I think we'll see a little less showmanship and a little more intensity from here on out. And on the floor for Steve Kerr as we get into the second half. We've got Damian Lillard on the Jacumbo is out there with Jokic. And it's Durant and it's Young in at the two spot. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. First trip to the line for him here. And that one misses. You really have to appreciate and respect the spirit Giannis plays the yeah, game with you know, a beacon of energy play, and enthusiasm like for his team. You know. They all feed I'm not off playing of like him. all the minutes an I would normally play. Joy and unselfishness. You know, I'm not trying to get MVP or nothing. And he's good on the second. The East trail by nine. Doncic passes to LeBron. MP dishes to Doncic. Right. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by MP. Mm. I should have just, I should just did a regular pass, trying to be, trying to be too fancy. And it's Durant with the ball. He'll bring it up for the West. They've held a 12-point lead early. Jokic with a screen on Doncic. Lillard from outside. A three-pointer is right on target. Lillard's got the lead up to 12 now for the West All-Stars. Pass to MP. Back to Mitchell. And I was too far out. The pass to Doncic for three. Good, and it's MP picking up the assist. Lewis has got his third <laughs> assist on the night. The West leading by nine. Young taking his time here. The Ooh. shot by Lillard wide open. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Mitchell passes to MP. And the double up Doncic. There it is. Jacks up a three. And another there three is. from the east. And Mitchell is a confident scorer, including from downtown. Young passes to Jokic. Back to Young. He kicks it to Durant. Some nice passing here by the West. Three-pointer, Lillard. Count it, number five from the four this game. He's now five of 11. Yo, He's starting to heat up from outside. That's his second this half. Anjic passes to James. James gets the screen from Lewis. And it's James missing. And out of bounds. The East hey, All-Stars will have it. What is LeBron playing for on the East? The East trail by nine. A little oh, under two and a half minutes gone by right. here in the third. Doncic finds MP. The jump hook. Giannis uh. grabs the miss. Honda Dekumbo's got his eighth rebound here tonight. That's a two from Lillard. Finds himself wide open and drills it. And now it's an 11 point West All Star lead. Lillard's gotten six of his 12 shots to drop, hitting 50% on the night. Doncic passes to Lewis. Back to Doncic. There we go. Oh, an easy two from Doncic. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket 
in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Here's Jokic. And Embiid pulls it down. And here we go. The East with a fast break. Good on that shot. And with that, the West All-Star lead is cut to minutes. just seven on the basket for Mitchell. So good at seeing the floor. Doncic able to set up his open teammates. Here's Jokic. That shot misses. Good D by Embiid. Frank, their unselfish play has really been impressive. They're trusting one another out there, wanting to get each other involved. Okay, this is five, great basketball. Yeah. The Hill too. We've got 118 left to play here in the third. Lillard scanning the floor. Shoots over Embiid. The West oh, again cannot finally. hit. The East trail by five. To the paint, here's Lewis. It's MP finishing at the other end. And look at the big fella getting out and leading the break. Yeah, doing some work in the open court. That's certainly a different aspect to his game, one that we haven't seen much of. Right. Pass to Lillard. Back to Young. Yeah, he was about to Pass it to Jokic. Come on, man, B. And that time, also a missed shot. You know, even though they have the lead, you can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. The no, shot by Mitchell, no good. The West leading by three. Now Young. Nine points in the game so far. The there West again nice cannot hit. And here is James. Lewis sets the pick for James. He shoots again. MP <clears throat> powers through the contact inside. Okay, go ahead and flex on him, MP. Nice hustle for that second chance bucket. And so it's Damian Lillard making things happen for Let's the West. He notched eight points in the quarter. Yeah, he has Miller, that terrific the, basketball Lillard instinct and, uh, on this Mitchell was going And we've it. got more M2K Sports coming your way after this break. Right. Now we're back you playing up uh, my career always a highlight of are you just like just playing randomly so oh man I didn't even play the, the West All Stars taking this one and it's impossible to know what's going to happen uh, in these games the one. talent on both sides oh, is man. always so strong quarter. but tonight right, the West seemed a little first more first all game it's all together good. as a unit and that's what earned them the win you mentioned that all broadcast yep, yep, long and sure enough it came to fruition that brings us to the conclusion of our all-star coverage thanks everyone for tuning in for Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony this is Kevin Harlan wishing you all a very good night Lillard. Mm. Eight points, eight rebounds, five assists, one block. May one all-star team, so I'm cool with that. I know you like to talk about what might happen in the future, so I have a fun one for you today. All right, let's hear it. Your boy MP is averaging double-digit rebounds. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, he's doing great for sure. But can he break a single season rebounding record? 100%. Do you know what that record is? No idea. It is 2,149 rebounds, and Wilt had to average 27 a game to do it. Mm. That's got to be a typo. It is not. That's unreal. All right, what's a non-Wilt level of greatness? It's something a human being might do. <laughs> uh, since the 2000s, let's see. Looks like Andre Drummond had the best rebounding season in recent memory, averaging just under 16 in a game mm -hmm. in 2018. 1,247 total. Uh, MP mm. could do that. 
I agree. I agree. But 27.2 per game, if he does that, I will eat my shoe. And you wear high tops. That's a lot of shoe. <laughs> Indeed it is. Indeed it is, Sean. Well, if you eat an MP shoe, you'll be able to eat greatness. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of extra foam in that. Oh, chewy. <laughs> right. He averaged how many? Yep. What's next? It was back to the regular season, so all right, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, quest. Team practice. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, so. Uh, Y'all enjoyed the stream, man, so uh, pick back up on this next time, and uh, might try to uh, start playing something else, man, but uh, I, right, Durante, enjoy the game, man, and. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.